What's happening, everybody, right there on Instagram, yours truly, comedian Mike Marino, live from my mother's basement. I'm just chilling right now, waiting for Facebook to turn on, and it just did, so let's do a shout out to them. Hey, everybody on Facebook, what's going down? Yours truly here, comedian Mike Marino, live from my mother's basement, bringing it to you in the real basement of my mother's real home in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. And let me tell you something, this is one of the most comfortable places I like to be in the world. And luckily for me, I've been all around the world and never planned on stopping. So let's hope, I hope you'll hope, that I'll actually get to go back again because I don't want to stop. I love entertaining, I love traveling, and I love people. I love a lot of people, let's say. Nowadays, there are some people I don't think we all are too happy with. So not everybody is happy, let's say. It's hard to be happy these days. A lot of shit going on in the world, and nobody really knows how to stop it. So what I would like to do is just stop the anger and the violence and the craziness and the sickness for 40 minutes while you guys join me in my mother's basement. And you know what's great about being in the basement? is so many memories down here from my childhood, teenage years, young adult years, moving away and coming back years, to when I actually bought the house and said to my mom and dad, I'll take care of you guys now. I will be the parent. Which led me to write more comedy and put it into an act that I took on a road around the world. So I'm happy to be here. And the memories of the way things used to be, I know we're all at that age, well, a lot of people are at that age, where you say things like, the way things used to be, when you come up with those things and it festers in your brain, it makes you forget about the trials and tribulations of what's going on in the world today, and it makes you think, wow, the way things used to be used to be so much nicer and so much fun. And then we go, man, you remember that time? And then you talk about that time and you forget about the shitty shit that you're going through today. So welcome to the basement and allow me to do that for you. Thank you so much, everybody, for writing into the show this fast. Kerry Spaghetti, it's nice to see you. Dawn Marie, how are you? Caddy Miller, hey, what's up? What's going on? Diana Logano, Bird Fox, Mark Tucci, and Vincent LaSavio from the famous, the world famous, ladies and gentlemen, the world famous John's Meat Market on Park Avenue. No, I'm sorry, on, is it Main Street? Park Avenue. Park Avenue in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. I don't know what made me say Park Avenue. Maybe I'm fucking that up. I don't know. I'm just so excited that everybody wrote into the show this fast. I've only been on 30 seconds. What's going on? What's going on? I was thinking the same thing. Yes, you were thinking about how things used to be so much damn fun. A, 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 a horrible night was 10 times more fun than what's going on. But hey, listen to this, everybody. I actually found a way to bring joy into my life today. It made me laugh all fucking day long. Guess what I did? You're not going to believe it. I didn't watch the news. <laughs> I didn't watch the news. I had the greatest day. I'm like, is there anything going on out there? Who gives a shit? I don't want to know. Is there a fight? I don't want to know. Is there a problem? I don't want to know. So I turned it off. I'm doing a nice shot. I want to do a quick shout out to a friend of mine who's in Los Angeles, California. I hope he's still... Uh, watching right now because the ticker tape here is moving really, really quickly. And I want to talk about everybody who's writing into the show. And I do have a lot of stuff I want to talk about. But um, I suffer from headaches. Yes, I get a lot of migraines. Those migraines are not caused by COVID-19. I've been getting them since I'm a kid. I do not have COVID-19. I don't have any of the symptoms. I'm still doing fucking good somehow. But I go get a chiropractic adjustment, so I get a little bit of a headache, and they twist, 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 and the headache's gone in like seven seconds. And one of the best chiropractors in all of Los Angeles and surrounding areas, if anybody out there from California is watching this show, because I, I went on a lot earlier than uh, I normally do because I have a, a special announcement that's coming out at 8 o'clock East Coast time, 5 o'clock West Coast time special announcement. So I wanted to do the podcast a couple hours before that came out. So Dr. Dean Larratt, I hope you're watching, Dr. Dean. Dr. Dean 
Larratt is a chiropractor, and we're talking about uh, the most incredible adjustment that you could want. There's, you know, sometimes there's people out there that they don't believe in the chiropractor, they don't believe in, um, uh, what are they, when they put those dots, things, they stab you with some bullshit, whatever the fuck that called. Come on, help me, what am I talking about? Um, but they do that to you. I forgot what it's called, but a chiropractic adjustment, when you have a headache, back aches, pains like this, I believe in it wholeheartedly. It makes me feel great. So Dr. Dean Larratt, look him up. He's writing me on uh, Instagram right now. He's the best. He really, really is the best. And uh, get in there. Get yourself a nice adjustment. Acupuncture. Thank you so much, Cousin Billy Greco. Acupuncture. Anita Gallo. Thank you so much. Sorry I couldn't find that fucking word. I found that word. Um, acupuncture. Now, I've been to acupuncturist a couple of times. But every once in a while, I uh, I get it, this and that. But um, I'm getting thrown off because there's a bunch of people talking on two different systems, which is really cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, everybody. And I got like 20 people saying uh, acupuncture, puncture. But the chiropractic adjustment. Billy, I've been dying to call you. My cousin Billy Greco is the president and founder of the East Coast Music Hall of Fame. The East Coast Music Hall of Fame, its uh, opening gala last summer was very successful. They did it down in Wildwood, New Jersey. This year it was supposed to be held in Atlantic City, and I believe it's been postponed because of the COVID-19. So, Billy, if there's anything you want me to do, anytime you want me to plug it or when it is going to be back up on its feet, I hope they're not going to move it to Zoom or on the Internet because, quite honestly, ladies and gentlemen, as a live performer, there's nothing better than getting together with a group of people, going to a sold-out theater, and watching a live performance. You don't watch that on your laptop. You don't watch that on your phone. You watch it in a big gala. You watch it outdoors. You watch it indoors. You watch it in an arena. You watch it in a theater. You watch it in a small comedy club. So make sure, ladies and gentlemen, when we do get back to where we're supposed to be, support live entertainment, please. Okay, we're postponed until June 7 through 9, 2021. Billy's your cousin, small world. Yes, Arlene Lubin Brief, Billy, is saying hello right now on internet. Arlene Brief, you probably know, is an agent. She books talent. Yes, Billy Greco is my cousin in real life. So is Peter Lemongello, who's writing into my show right now, too. So June 7 through June 9, 2021, you can go and see the East Coast Music Hall of Fame Gala take place for the second annual time, right? Hey, Billy, where is it going to be? Where is, the, where is it going to be held? In Atlantic City? Is that going to be at Harrah's? Oh, well, once we get that answer, we'll get that answer. Hopefully this year, not this year, next year in 2021, everything will be back to normal and we could all get together, have a hot dog, a hamburger, some french fries and go to Harris in Atlantic City, June 7 through June 9. That is the East Coast Music Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen. And you're hearing it from me, Mike Marino, live from my mother's basement. I'm actually friends through my cousin, Billy, with some of the guys who are in the original group, the Duprees. I believe it's the original Duprees. They've come to see me perform, and I've gone to see them perform. And I hope to God that we all get to share the same stage again together someday and have some fun. 116 degrees on Saturday. It's going to be? Wow. That's right. Nothing beats a live show. Thank you so much, everybody, for chiming in and saying that because nothing does beat a live show. Tommy Patillo, yes. Tommy Patillo is one of the singers in the Duprees. And thank you so much, my cousin Billy Greco, for saying that. I miss you. Let's get on the phone. Let's chat a little bit. I'm off all week. I'm off this weekend. And I'm hoping I'm going to come down to the Jersey Shore and see my, mom, my dad, not my mom, 
Uh, my mom's no longer with us, unfortunately. Today, actually, I was going through some of my mom's things. I'm sorry, I'm going to go off topic real quick. I do want to go down to the beach, Belmont, this weekend and see my cousins. But you know what I did today, ladies and gentlemen? Since I'm living in the past here in the house with all the things from back in the day, I went into my mom and dad's bedroom. Now, my mom and dad's bedroom's preserved like it's a museum. You guys got to come to my house someday. We got to do a sitcom at this house. Everything is preserved. There's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, the entire basement. Everything is remodeled from top to bottom, but it looks like the 1950s. Some rooms look like the 40s. I got some rooms look like today, and some rooms look like the 70s. And I did that on purpose because I like, I like Art Deco, and I like the way this stuff looks, right? So I go into my mom's bedroom where my mother and father used to sleep, and their furniture is from when they got married. So I figured they got married at 21, 22 years old from back in the day. Uh, oh, somebody's calling the landline. They're still doing solicitation to a phone that really doesn't even exist. Anyway. Hey, Cam, how you doing, man? It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you, Nick. Thank you for all your purchases. There's no plastic on the uh, on the couches here, no. That never took place in this house. There was the room that you didn't go into. It was called the entranceway. Don't come in the entranceway. You come around the back. Tell your friends and tell everybody that you know you don't come in the entranceway. You come around the back with your dirty, filthy sneakers, you sons of bitches. That's the way my mother spoke. Go around the back. I'll slap the shit out of you. And that's why my mother has three gentlemen. Paul, Michael, and Anthony. It's another reason why there's so much fucking bullshit going on in this world. Slap the fuck out of your kids, ladies and gentlemen. Crack them. Crack them right in the head. Don't let none of your kids get in your face. Because if your kids get in your face from now, wait till you see what happens when they get older. They're going to forget about you. I can tell you stories make your head spin. Don't forget, I might be a comedian. I do find joy in the world. But I travel the world. And I look at how some people treat their kids. It's not right. It's not good. You know, I bought my first car. I bought everything in my life. My father just told me how to stay out of trouble. That's what you do. So anyway, I went to my mom's bedroom where the furniture is still from when they were given the furniture from when they, when, when they first got together, right? Their furniture was probably bought, I want to say, I don't know, 40s? Got to be. I figured they got married in the late 50s. 50s. All right, so it's either 40s or 50s, and uh, it's still there, and it's still pristine. It's heavy. It's maroon. Uh, it's got all the pictures of my mom and dad when they got married, but um, I didn't get rid of a lot of my mom's clothes. I kept things that I thought had meaning to me, so there's a few of my mom's pajamas. There's a few of my mom's sweaters. There's a few of my mom's when she would cook in the kitchen, the aprons. She kept the aprons and her nightgowns like this and a pair of sneakers and some socks, eyeglasses. I even have my mother's rosaries, pocketbooks. She got a stack this thick of all her friends that passed away. She kept everything, every single one of her friends until she went I got everything. It's all up there. So you can't get rid of it. I know my father got handkerchiefs that you blew your nose into from when they used to wear suits with the hanky, nice, stylish Sunday mornings going to church like a gentleman with his wife, right? So all of this stuff is in there. And I went in there today and my mother's sweaters and her night uh, shirt um, still smells like my mom. Still smells like my mom. Now, it's not the smell of mothballs. It's the smell of whatever the furniture always smelt like. I can't think of the word of it. Maybe somebody could help me. What's the word I'm looking for? Cedar chest. She had cedar. It was like this, um, like a potpourri from back in the day. And the cedar chest and the cedar sh uh, shelves and, and whatever closets, it just smells good. And I, I was hugging it. I'm hugging it. And I'm saying to myself, if my mother was here today, she'd be so pissed off at all these people. She'd be so angry at all the shit that's going on. Because don't forget, there are some people out there. Now, we, look, we all know right from wrong. We all know right from wrong. And the people who are doing wrong, they know right from wrong too. 
there's some people doing shit that they never would have dreamed of doing. They just feel like, you know what? They're fucking doing it. I'm going to do it too. If that person's going to cause a mess, what the hell? I'm walking down the street. I got nothing to do. I'm unemployed. I'm going to cause a mess too. Well, let me tell you something. You're an asshole. You're probably not even watching this show because you're probably out doing something stupid. But that person's an asshole and there are assholes in every race. Bottom line. And we all know that. Because me being Italian, I have a lot of Italian friends. Are there assholes in the Italian breed? Fuck yeah. Okay. But we deal with it. We don't go over their house and trash their, their, anything. We just stay away. You know? So, I don't even know where the fuck I went with this whole damn subject. I was supposed to be having fun today because I didn't watch the news. Look at my friend Nick Aquino. Yes, it's heartbreaking because you're... <laughs> <laughs> you're going into your mom's things and you start freaking out because you're like, wow, I miss my mom more than I ever missed her in my entire life and I don't think it's ever going to stop. I think it actually grows on you, becomes more and more. If you achieve a goal, you wonder what they would think. If you don't achieve a goal, you wonder what they would think. Your shit that you see that's going on in the world, you wonder what would they think. And uh, you wish you could call them and say, hey, what should I do? Uh, you know, I, I got stuck in Los Angeles. My last show was March 15. I didn't know it was going to stop this long. I thought the next day was going to be cool. Uh, I'm sorry, I got a little alert. So one of my uh, projects is going to come out at 5 o'clock in California, which is 8 o'clock here. So um, I'll let you guys all know what that is. But um, I forgot what I was saying. I got an alert. Yeah. You wish you can call them up and say, hey, ma. But I know what my mother would say. I'd say, man, I can't believe what's going on in the world. There's a lot of shit going on there, ma. She'd say, all right, well, why don't you come over and I'll make you a nice bowl of sp pasta. My mother actually never said pasta. She said macaroni. Why don't you come over and make you a nice bowl of macaroni. You'll forget about everything by tomorrow. You'll be fine. You'll forget the whole damn thing. And it worked. It worked. So, too bad they're not around so we could talk to them. My father is around. I talk to my father every day. And because I'm doing the social distancing thing, I'm doing the right thing. I'm actually in my house. I'm in the basement. I've been quarantined now for a week and two days. In about five days, I'll emerge from the basement and I'll go talk to some people. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, too bad they're not around. Because I think if people from back in that time were running the country, we probably wouldn't be going through what we're going through. They'd probably sit down very, very quickly and say, hey, listen, we have a problem. Let's discuss it. We'll clean this shit up in the morning. And that would have been that. You know, there's a lot of stupid people in this world don't know how to do the right thing. I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to stay in the house. But what if I'm the guy who gets somebody sick? Then what am I going to do? How would I ever leave that, live that down? You people need to ask yourselves a question. How would you live it down if you got somebody sick? Let's suppose in your asymptomatic, you're feeling fine. You're like, hey, whoop de doo You go out, you see somebody. Hey, Joey, I haven't seen you in fucking two years. You give him a hug and a kiss, and he calls you two weeks later. Oh, I can't, I'm all fucking sick. Well, now it's your fault. So what's the big deal? Put on your mask when you're supposed to put on your mask. Maybe you go to a restaurant, you have a little bit of fun, you put it on, you put it off, you put it on, you put it off, cut a hole in it, stick a fucking meatball through your hole. Okay, so maybe it'll be over soon. You know, you never know. There's a lot of people thinking, oh, this is a fucking hoax, or this is a problem, or it's not a problem, it's real, it's not real, we should, we shouldn't, we should. Your bottom line is nobody fucking knows. And since you don't know, what we think we know might be the right thing. So, just do that. And if you don't know where to go get a mask, because now you can get them anywhere, boom. Just go on www.mikemarino.net and get yourself a Make America Italian Again mask. That's right. Make America Italian Again mask. I guarantee you love wearing this mask. But I don't guarantee anything other than that. That's all I know. And Nick, thank you so much for buying so many the other day. I'll make sure they get into the mail for you right, right, right away. George Durante, I miss you so much. 
Everybody who's writing in right now, I miss you. I miss, I'm, oh, Christ, I guess I miss the world, huh? But anyway, so uh, we're having some fun here in the basement. So that's just the way I see that. We lost a great talent the other day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, shit, now I'm going to blank on his name. I didn't know him personally. Uh, he was on Broadway. He was doing a lot of TV shows. Nick, somebody help me with his last name, Cutiera, Cantiero. He's, he just, oh my God, he got sick three months ago with COVID-19. Uh, they cut off his leg because he had some blood clots. And then eventually, I think it was yesterday, he had passed away. Uh, a Broadway legend, as anybody could help me with his last name, Brother Nick. Sad, sad, sad. So, if you're out there, folks, wear the mask. You know, everybody's saying, you got it. Nick Cordero. Thank you very much, Cecile. Nick Cordero, um, 41 years old. Very, very sad. Left, I believe, a one-year-old and his wife. And uh, here's a guy who was singing and dancing on Broadway. Could you imagine coming out of a coma and your wife has to tell you while you were... Uh, incapacitated we the doctor decided to take off your leg because you had a blood clot and not only do you deal with that then you got to deal with what's yet to come and and now the guy is gone so I'm sure that that family could use some moral support I'm gonna look into it I know he did a movie with my friend Robert Davi and I'm gonna call it Davi Robert Davi did a big tribute uh, to Nick with a song that was just fantastic. So I'm going to look into that. And if there's a, a GoFundMe for the family, check it out. Take a look around, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe you can help out. NY Clinch, how you doing? I can't answer the phone, but if you have a question or somebody who has a question for me, just say, hey, Marino, on an instant message, and I will get back to you. If you go to my YouTube channel, I have a segment called Hey, Marino, and if you ask me a question, I get back to you. Oh, look, yes, you're right, Bert. Charlie Daniels of the Charlie Daniels Band, of course, passed away. I believe that was today. So, uh, the, douche, <laughs> the douchebag Guido. Uh, rest in peace, Charlie Daniels. The devil went down to Georgia. Everybody knows that song, right? Thank you very much, the douchebag Guido. <laughs> You're the man, too. This guy's got a great tag, the douchebag Guido. That's a word we need to bring back, douchebag. Everybody remember douchebag? You didn't even know what it was. We assumed what it was. But it, you said it to people like, hey, you're a douchebag. Or it was a sign of affection. Hey, douchebag, where you been? It's all how you deliver it. There's some names that we can't say anymore. And I think that's a problem. We should bring back the way we used to call each other, you know, stunad, stupid, you know, some words I can't say. But those words actually had more meaning than half the shit we say today. And they want to get rid of it. I see all the things that they want to get rid of. Can't say master bedroom. Well, first of all, I never said master bedroom in my entire life. There is no fucking master bathroom, no master bedroom in any one of these rooms in this house. All right? Nobody said it. It was, who? are you in the bathroom? Because if you're in that bathroom, I'll have to wait. So there's no master bathroom. There was a bathroom. And there was no master bedroom. There was a bedroom. One bedroom was for mom and dad, and the other bedroom was for Paul, Michael, and Anthony. So kiss my fucking ass. Man can't say master bedroom. I never had one. We still don't have one. In this house, each one of the beds in these rooms is a full. It's not a queen. It's not a California king. It's a fucking full. It's just full. I don't know what kind of privilege you want to call that, but it's a full. And if anybody wants to sleep over my house, I have a blow-up mattress for you. You can sleep in the basement right next to the bar. All right, so I better get, I better get to some of my shout-outs. Hey, Marino, I'm going to have to get you a 50th Regina glass of your shelf behind the bar. Okay, Robert Catalano. Robert Catalano is one of my national sponsors. This guy has been in the business for 50 years. 50 years. His father started the business. His grandfather was in the business. Has one of the greatest pizza places in Akron, Ohio. Let me look up my sponsor right now. 
while I have everybody watching. Thank you so much, Robert. And I will definitely put one of your glasses from your pizza place in Akron, Ohio, right here on the wall. I would love that. Uh, Regina's Pizza, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in Akron, Ohio, or you're driving by, please stop by and see my friend Robert Catalano and his family at www.reginaspizza.com. Reginaspizza.com. They've been in business for 15 years. 50 fucking years. All ingredients are made on the premises, family owned and operated. 330-753-7797. Or look them up on Facebook forward slash Regina's Pizza. And once again, Regina'sPizza.com. We just got done doing a couple of TV commercials for Regina's Pizza, but I haven't had a chance to get them out. And Robert, thank you so much for your order. He ordered a lot of masks that say, Make America Italian Again. As soon as I get them, I'll call you and let them know when they're on their way. A lot of orders came in the other day, and I actually sold out, so I'm hoping I can do that again. Everybody, if you want to know where you can get Mike Marino swag, more so than just the Make America Italian Again masks, we have Make America Italian Again underwear for the guys or girls. Whoever wants to wear it is fine with me. On the back, it says, Get the Bat. Get the Bat. And on the front of the panty, it says, Make America Italian Again. Get the Bat is the name of the first album I ever put out. No, actually, the second album. First album? First album I ever put out, Get the Bat. They come in white with blue lettering or blue with white lettering. They also come in t-shirts like I have on and sweat sweatpants or hoodies. Let me just show you since we changed the subject matter. I apologize. Here is some swag. Make America Italian again. Comes in a hoodie with matching sweatpants. If you remember a long time ago, before stylish whatever sweatpants came out or track suits we wore sweatpants sweatpants and it wasn't a hoodie it was a sweatshirt with a hood on it sweatshirt with a hood on it and i got them for you they're very inexpensive and you can get it at mikemarino.net everything is mikemarino.net and please subscribe to my newsletter my newsletter comes out every wednesday if you want to unsubscribe if you're sick of getting it you can but if you also subscribe to my YouTube channel, I guarantee you're going to see some funny shit all the time. And that's what I wanted to talk about, too. At 5 o'clock in California and 8 o'clock here in New Jersey, my fake news family, episode number three, I believe it's number three, will come out. Since we were in the uh, quarantine in California, I couldn't get any actors to come over to my house so I decided I'd be the other characters. So I developed my Uncle Tommy, which is a real-life character, my Uncle Tommy. His real name was Mastro Giovanni. Mastro Giovanni. But because back in the day when the Italians came over on the boat, they weren't too nice to us either, now were they? Yeah, well, you're not going to complain. So they changed that name to Mastro. It's easier for the Americans to say... So Mastro Giovanni went to Mastro, and there we go. So that's Uncle Tommy. I used to have a friend who smoked so much weed before he went surfing, he reminded me of every beach guy we ever thought lived and existed in Malibu, California. So I came up with my cousin Mooney. Da, da, da. Yeah, his ways, man. So if you want to watch that, you're going to get to see that too. And then, I really do have a cousin, and her name is Michelle. And it's up to you to decide how much you enjoy Michelle. Hey, I think you're going to enjoy it. And she's going to do the weather. She's going to do the weather. She's a weather girl. Mm. So, today on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at 5 o'clock, please check out my fake news family. And I think you'll enjoy it, okay? Let's talk about some other sponsor. There's a sponsor here in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, that I decided I would order some food from today. And it's Max's, and he's right over there on Park Avenue as well. He's brand new. I don't think he's been there a year yet. So if you want to get some nice pizza, nice Italian food, or I think there's limited social in-dining, outdoor dining, 
Max's Pizza and Bistro.com. www.max's Pizza and Bistro.com. Right here at 381 Park Avenue in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, in this beautiful, gorgeous, old school town. It's so nice. The people are so kind, so caring. I will always talk about this town. Hopefully the TV series that I wrote about this town will come to fruition and you guys will get to see the coolest family in the world living right here in a tiny little bubble. So I went over to Max's today and I picked up some food. That's right, a nice plate of food. Any Italian kid returning to the state of New Jersey or New York, Boston too, you're going to want a nice slice of pizza. And we're, it's Uncle Tommy. Says it straight. I give it to you straight. So I went to Max's and I picked up a nice pizza. I like plain pizza. Or for you people in California, a cheese slice. <laughs> a cheese slice. So here's a slice of plain cheese pizza from Max's on Park Avenue. So let's give it a go. Oh, shit. That's unbelievable. Holy moly. Who doesn't like pizza? I think sometimes you could probably take a pizza and give it to a bunch of people who are riding in the streets, and I bet they start going like this. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot that thing. I'm going to take down that statue. I'm going to... Uh, uh, mm. I'm just going to sit here and eat. I'm not going to... I don't want to fight no more. I just want pizza. Is Max around? See, that that could be. So, I always like to get a nice plain slice of pizza, which I obviously just did. But Max's has a lot more food than just pizza. So, where is he looking at the chat? Lino Legrado. What does that mean? Make America Italian again. Thank you very much. What does that mean, Lena? Lino? Anyway, I like a good meatball sandwich. Meatball Parmesan. You see all the meatballs in there? You see all the sauce, all gravy, whatever you want to call it? Now, when I went on a diet a couple of months ago, I wasn't eating any of the bread. Bread in California is not always that good unless you go to Fogia, which is in Lakewood, California. This is incredible bread. It's nice and thick, but the meatballs look phenomenal. And I would like to just have just the meatballs. But since we're on TV right now, I want to let you know, let you people know how delicious this is in case you want to try out Max's Pizza and Bistro. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. I mind you. I hope I'm not making a ass of myself. But boy, is this fucking good. Holy shit. I have to take another bite. Holy shit. Okay. So the pizza and the meatball sandwich. And I've eaten there once before. When I went in there with the actor Gary Pastore, who's usually on my show with me, he couldn't make it tonight, plus I'm quarantining, so <laughs> I'm making people hungry. Yeah, well, hey, come on over. Let's have a potluck. Oh, shit, I can't stop eating. So anyway, Gary couldn't make it over, but we had gone to Max's, and we had spaghetti, Meatballs, Gary had clams, marinara, no, linguine and clam sauce, and it's great. It's a great place. You got to go, and today I was visited by a friend, and my friend came over and said, I can't come empty-handed, so he dropped off at the door. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Jerry Bumsky, what a great name. I'm glad you guys love Gary, too. we got to get him on the show. Um, Max is, is in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Mawa is not that far. Might even be worth the drive. Uh, Max's Pizza and Bistro, 
www.maxspizzaandbistro.com. Uh, if you're going to be going there, Jerry, instant message me. I'll meet you over there. We'll have a nice meatball sandwich together. Jerry Bumsky. What a cool name. Luca in Oakland's is good. Oh, nice. Folks, is anybody, if anybody wants to sponsor a show live from my mother's basement, it's not just here. This show rebroadcasts constantly on Facebook, constantly on Instagram, and then it goes to Google, Spotify, your favorite uh, apps. Um, I could tell you it's on <clears throat> Italian American Radio, uh, Google, Spotify, Anchor, and uh, a lot of different channels. Also, ddvradio.com, YouTube, and all social media platforms. So what I do is I take in sponsors, and uh, we also take it in for the live events. Now, my next live event is uh, going to be in Florida, then back to New Jersey, and I'll talk about that. Um, I also, when I was saying my friend came over, and he went to Bavella's Bakery and he brought me 12 cannolis, 12 cannolis, and that's Bavella's on Route 22 in Mountainside. I think there's another one, but I believe it's in Jersey City, so there you go. Instant message me, and I'll get back to you, Jerry. So I normally wouldn't want to mix my cannoli with my pizza and my uh, meatball sandwich, but just so people know that I really did go to Bavella's. Mmm. <laughs> oh, shit. That's so fucking good. Oh. I need my water. I drink iced tea. Anybody ever experienced this? You ever buy powdered iced tea? It's the same powdered iced tea that your mother always had. But for some reason or other, you made it, your mother made it better. It's the same shit. You could put in the same amount of teaspoons into the water that your mother did, but for some reason or other, your mother's iced tea tasted so much better. What is that? Is that just love? Oh. All right, well, listen, I got to get going. This has been a lot of fun. 4C iced tea. That's what I got. That's 4C iced tea. There was another one too. Lipton. Lipton iced tea. Hey, they owe me money. So if you want to sponsor a show, Lipton or 4C, you call Mike Marino. Instant message me. I'll make sure we cut a nice big deal. All right? I do have some shows, ladies and gentlemen. Please just go to MikeMarino.net. Say hello. I'll be in Staten Island in August. Got to go to MikeMarino.net. Because she made it with love. That's right, Kerry Spaghetti. Thank you so much, Lisa, Leah Olstein. I'll call you when I'm done chatting. Amen. Mom's everything tasted better. Danny Niz Cell. Don't forget, we got something to do on July 21. I'm coming in with the guns. I'm coming in with the guns. I did my research. I know everything that went on back in the day. So, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, I can let you know, but you can find out yourself. Uh, I think it's August 14 and 15. I'll be in Staten Island. Here you go. July 20 through July, uh, July 20, no, July 29 through August 1st, Vasani's Comedy Club. I gotta interrupt me. Vasani's Comedy Club in uh, Port Charlotte, Florida. August 8th, I'll be in Monroe Township, New Jersey. August 9th, Surf Light Theater, Long Beach Island, New Jersey. September 8th, Count Basie, Red Bank, New Jersey. All you have to do is go to MikeMarino.net, write to me, subscribe to me, instant message me, and I will write you back, okay? Mike Marino on YouTube. Go to YouTube forward slash Mike Marino Live. Subscribe, say hello. And let me know what you think of the comedy. Also, if you want to pick up any one of my merchandise materials or Make America Italian Again masks, once again, folks, MikeMarino.net. Show a little love to a lot of the entertainers who, quite honestly, are unemployed. And who knows when we're coming back to life. So that's it for right now. 
My name is Mike Marino, live from my mother's basement. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget, let's make America Italian again. You don't know nothing, you don't see nothing, you don't say nothing. And how do I end every single one of my broadcasts by always saying the same thing? Don't take no shit from nobody. Good night. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying watching my podcast live from my mother's basement. We're having a lot of fun and I'm going to have a lot of great guests on the show in the future. So if you like it, hit like. You could also leave a comment. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other funny videos. And you could also listen to my podcast on your favorite podcast app like Spotify and iTunes.